A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, no mind, I'm talking about the kind of sowing a farmer would do, like planting seeds. There you go. A farmer went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path. The seed that fell on the path had no root, and the birds came and ate it up. The seed that fell on the path had no root. The birds came and ate it up. Listen to the meaning of the parable of the sower. While anyone is hearing the word, but does not grasp and understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. Now some other seed fell on rocky ground, where there wasn't much soil. And all at once they sprang up because they weren't rooted in the soil. But when the sun rose, they dried up and withered away. Um, withered away? The word says withered away. You sort of just killed over. But when the sun rose, they were scorched because they had no fruit. They dried up and withered away. That's a fine wither, man. <laughs> and those upon the rocky ground are the people that when they hear the word, receive and welcome it with joy. But these, they have no root. They believe for a while, but in a time of trial and temptation, fall away, withdraw, and stand aloof. Other seeds fell among the thorns, And the thorns grew up and choked them out. <laughs> As for what was sown among the thorns, this is he who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the pleasure and the deceitfulness of riches choke and suffocate the word, and it yields no fruit. Other seed fell on good soil and yielded grain, some a hundred times as much as was sown, some thirty times as much, and some sixty times as much. As for what was sown on the good soil, this is he who hears the word and grasps and understands it. He is blessed and bears fruit, and yields, as in one case, one hundred times as much as was sown. In another, 60 times as much as was sown. And in another case, 30 times as much as was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. Matthew 13, 9.